Hey guys, so we just finished, oop, gotta pour this mat over here. We just finished Eric, Eric's fat pack of Collins of Tark here, so I'll have that sent to you soon, Eric. Oopsies. And then this will be for Dan. So this is for Dan. Um, again, if you have a preference on a playmat, I guess you can talk to Bobby about which playmat you want. Um, I'm only going to give these playmats away randomly, so there's going to be like no other way you can get them, which would be pretty cool. But Dan last time pulled so good. Like, so good. Can he pull another expedition slash, I mean, outside the expedition, that box actually, I believe, made up its value. I want to say it did make up its value because it did have Gideon. And essentially, there's almost no way you can make up back your value unless you have Gideon pulled as one of your mythics. Because some of those mythics are really crappy. So we're just going to get straight. I'm going to go a little fast and get straight to the good cards. Uh, what do I... Wanderer, I mean, it's not the worst card ever, but it's also not the best card ever. Oops. Yeah, not the best card ever. Let's see. Let's Angel Renewal is pretty good. Break of Armies, Molten Nerd. Oh! So I people wanted me to speculate about this card. Once Ugin rotates out, this card is a real deal. I mean, seeing play in a lot of decks, I don't know if it's that expensive. Uh, to me, it's not as valuable as Gideon, but it's not bad. Like, it's definitely a card that you want to see. Like, it's not a card that... It, it will be a card that be will have value even after rotation. It'll be very good for a long time. We do have a foil here. <sighs> Kiara! Back-to-back -back Mythics. Wow. So, Dan might just be really lucky. And... Oh, man. I, I felt... I saw it was another Kiora. But Kiora has not really been... I mean, out of the Mythics, Kiora is not a bad one to pull. But she's also not my favorite one. She has dropped considerably in price. And it's pretty its pretty much Gideon or Bust. I mean, the lands are pretty nice too. Because they always make back the pack of the... They always make back the money of the pack. Oh, yes, of course. A Prism Array. Definitely Foil Lands. If I would rather have a Kiora or a Foil Full Art Land, I think I would take the for our, the Full Art Foil Land. This pack is kind of different, too. I think there's a Foil here, too. There's definitely not a Foil. So, it started off very strong. Um, oh, did I put the Foil here? No, I didn't. Okay, the Foil wasn't that great. It's in the pack of aggressive cards. But combined with this box and then with the other box, you pretty much pulled every Mythic, Dan. Like, every single Mythic. Sanctum of Ugin. Because he had the odd... He had, like, four Mythics last time. Uh, Gideon, Draena. But he didn't have Ogamog or Kiora. I think the only one he's missing is Ob Nicholas. Maybe. Beast Caller, uh, he has been hovering around bulk prices. I mean, if it's not Mystic Elf, it's not Mystic Elf, right? Bone Splinter is pretty good. Blighted. And Bring to Light. Uh, Bring to Light, I do feel like, is an interesting speculation. I like it a lot um, in terms of flexibility because any tutor ability, uh, any tutoring power... Especially in modern, is you have to look at that and say one day it could be completely broken depending on what card is printed. Zero so drop, halfway, ooh, Strangler. And a Cure to oh, cool. We have Gideon. Maybe we'll get a Gideon. Nice. Uh, that was pretty good. And then <laughs> More interested in Cure Token than I am in the actual Wasteland Strangler. Gruesome Slaughter. Of course, you know, every box needs one or two of those. And now we get into the 
I think a Gideon, if you grab a Gideon here, oh, we, we have a, but that's not the, uh, that's the uncommon. Chasm God, Hidden Archive, Radiant Flame. I don't know if Radiant Flame was the best choice for the uh, game day promo. It doesn't seem as good as, you know, oh, this was a backwards card. You guys saw that. That's pretty cool. So, uh, no misprint. Grove Rumbler. Oh, wow. Um, I guess we could pull a Gideon if we have a four mythic box, which I think on average a box has between two to four mythics. So that card is not good. Oh, okay, this card, I, I do want to talk about Painful Truth. Love Painful Truths. I think it's seeing play in modern right now. Its price point is extremely low for what it is. Uh, every, anytime you can draw that many cards, it's worth taking a look for. It's not the priciest foil right now, but I do feel like it has a lot of upside. So it's good that I got to talk about that card. And if you were to go for Painful Truth, because it's such a low value card, you have to do foils. At least it's not a foil mythic, so we still have some hope. So if you pull four mythic, it kind of meant that you could have pulled an expedition, but you didn't. So as long as you don't pull four mythics, the box still has hope for an expedition. At least that's what I believe. Um, I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I've seen. Oh, Zeta, uh, Zeta, of course. He Zeta is pretty good. I like him a lot. Not the priciest card in the market, but I think he's a very good card. Let's see, Cloud, ooh, Bane of the Blue, ooh, Crumble to Dust, and oh, our first land. Um, and he, that other box had a ton of lands too, like, just a ton of them. I mean, definitely, definitely not the worst half opening. I would like to see more. Oh, we have another foil here. We have a land, ally encampment, and we have a foil, demons, grasp. Huh. Okay, ally encampment. Will allies be a deck? Maybe. If allies is a deck, you can bet anything ally encampment will be a very valuable card because it's always the land base. Um, that's what makes the game so expensive isn't the regular cards most of the time It's land base endless one. Wow lots of uh, what's we I did skip a foil. I didn't put foil here But lots of uh, black foils Three black foils uncommon common and rare. So maybe a mythic foil drainer Yeah Man, that's that's definitely not something I want Uh, Blighted, From Beyond is not bad, and no foil lands. I think this is halfway, it seems like it's half the packs, so as a, assuming uh, the other packs are just as good, I think this is fine for a box. Chasm Guide, Blighted Fan, okay, yeah, so two, two of these lands. Again, these lands might not be like super duper valuable, but they are still lands. And whenever you play Magic, you need lands. And this will be true now, rotation, forever. Like it's going to be true forever that you need lands to play Magic the Gathering. This card's kind of good. Oh, speaking of lands, this is my favorite land. I do feel like it will see lots of modern play. It is very, very good and standard. And it's being played as a 4 of, which you don't see very often for come and play tap lands. So, let's see. Pilgrim's Eye, Drown of Hope. Oh, okay, good. We got a forest. Okay. And, wow, we got all of them. We got Gideon token, too. So, definitely a foil land is probably the most valuable card in the pack. Uh, and long-term wise, it will have greater value than most of these cards. Oh, just a regular one. Oh, okay, I, I cheated, but <laughs> I felt like it was another. Okay, so I... 
one foil land so far. I think if we get another foil land, that would be pretty good. And I can roughly estimate the value of the box being kind of close. Let's see, Catacomb, Blighted, Runus. Path is like a $2 card now from like seven. <laughs> but people are gonna wanna play it because it is removal. What people don't understand with like Beast Call of Savant and stuff is yeah, it's really bad, but only if you compare it to like a Novice Mystic. But we don't have that right now, so we have to play it. Well, I think there's another foil here. Nope, just the land. Oh. <laughs> so you really have pulled every single Mythic possible. We have a four Mythic box right now. Uh, could we go five? Five is kind of greedy. Oh, we did have a five Mythic box in the last set. We considered the Steam Vents uh, Expedition, the foil Mythic, or another Mythic. So we could go five. We just went five, but not in the correct, correct way. Wow, five Mythics. This card is um, deceivingly expensive for what it is. Five Mythic box. Can we go six Mythics? That would be incredible. That would be incredible to do eight Mythics. I think we could. Okay. Oh, break. Oh, allies. Definitely not the group you want to see. We have, what, how many boost packs? Looks like we have a bunch. We have like 10 boost packs left. We need to pull two more mythics and then we grab ourselves a seven mythic box. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ugin's Insight. Not the card you want to see. Okay, it is a forest, so no foil land. A forest and some type of... It's a blue card. There are no good blue cards in this set, so let's just blast right on by. Exert Influence, that's probably your best blue card in the set. It does see play because the multicolors are so common. All right, foil land. It's a mountain, no foil land. Let's see, let's see, come on. Oh, Desolation Twin. This is actually one of the harder rares to come by. Uh, oops. I know because I've opened up these packs and the rare that comes the least is actually Desolation Twin. So maybe a few more lands. Titan's Presence. Oh, no Gideon. Okay, so we have, it looks like we have five more packs. Five more packs. One more Gideon, 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 oh, not the correct one, okay, so another foil, oh, we have a foil, Ugamog's Nullifier, okay, that's not the one that we wanted, we wanted an Ugamog. But foil is a foil, and that is a very pretty one. So, uh, oh, I forgot that there's so many junky allies. We didn't pull that many allies or Adrazis until like midway from the packs. Oh, this is a regular mountain. Let's see, what could it be? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, you get 36 full art lands, which 37. Blight Herder. This is uh, Bobby's favorite card. Maybe he'll get a block. So two more packs left. These last few packs have not been very good. So I feel like we are owed a pack. And it is white, but it's not Gideon. So it's a plane. What do we want to see in white? Um... Not another ally. That's not what we want to see. Okay, last pack. Good luck, Dan. I, I mean, the Steam Vents came down as one of the last packs. So, it's still... Okay, it is no foils. So, we got the best out is a Gideon. 
Oh, it is a foil. There is a foil. It's blue though. Okay, so the foil is not a card that is particularly expensive, but let's see if we can pull something good. It's white. Oh, man, we pulled so many white cards, um, but no Gideons. Okay, so let's put everything back in the box and then do a recap. I don't know, this was a okay box. I wouldn't say it was particularly um, great, but it was okay. Oop. And let's recap your box. I didn't see as much land. Yeah, that, that first box we opened, uh, you opened, or I opened on the channel for you. That box was just so ridiculous. Um, so you got two of these, that's pretty good. Playing an outburst, I don't think it's worth money. Blighted Herder, Nullify, it's very pretty.